Hey all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video I'm going to show you how I make these pencil tumblers. These are pretty popular. I, you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm pretty much doing this how everybody else does it, but I decided to show you anyway. It's March. The kids are going to be, you know, out of school in just three months. And I guess maybe, you know, people will start, or I am definitely starting to think about um, gifts for the teachers for the end of the year. So if you're interested to see how I did this, stick around and we're going to go ahead and get started. started as I usually do by sanding and uh, spray painting a base coat of white over my tumbler. This is a 20 ounce uh, skinny straight and I got these from Makerflow when they were stocked up. Apparently they're uh, restocking right now. They're out of them but um, I ordered a case and got lucky and got them. So um, what we're first going to do is tape off. So we're using a bunch of different colors so you've got to section things off of course. So I'm going to use my blue painter's tape to section off the top and the bottom. And this doesn't want to come and it's almost gone. All right. So I'm going to go and tape this top rim first. And this is actually going to come off. This is just, I'm using this as a guide for my second line. I'm going to tear that and make sure that's on. I'm putting my glasses on because I can't see anything without it. It's terrible. All right. I'm going to throw my bottom on. And I'm just eyeballing this. There's like no exact science to this. Just eyeballing. Now I'm going to go in with my second, my second piece. I'm just going to line that up. Actually, no, I'm going to start at the end. Sort of the end. All right, and just leaving a teeny tiny little space in between so that when I pull up the rim, it doesn't pull this one with it. So just a teeny tiny little line in between. Alright. I'm going to tear this off. Alright, so you can see the little tiny line in between so that when I peel this off, which I'm doing right now, right, seems like a lot of waste of tape, that it, this doesn't pull this one up. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to make sure that this is down so when I spray paint, it doesn't go underneath. And this one's actually going to come up too. So what I'm going to do to do, so a lot of people use stencils and they cut out in their Cricut um, for the zigzag. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to cut a template, a template out of my tape. So I just want to quickly check and make sure that I've got right measurement. Actually, I'm going to cut this. Take it off, put it down on my mat. And this is a Cricut mat. I just flipped it over. And so then I'm just going to go in and just maybe draw first. Let's see. Let me draw it first. Look, a pencil, because we're making a pencil tumbler. So I don't go in with a template. I don't want it to be perfect because when you shave a pencil, it's not perfect. So, and that's just me. You can do what you want. You can use the templates. They're all over Etsy. You can create your own on your design space. So, all right. So now I'm just going to trace this with my craft knife. Now 
And I know this is kind of tedious, but you know, I find if I don't put enough information in my tutorials, people are complaining. If I put too much information in my tutorials, I'm complaining. So you, they're complaining. So you know what we're going to do? We are just going to put in too much information and let people who want to skip through, skip through. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. All right. So just carefully doing this and I'm going to have to do this twice because I'm doing two tumblers, but I'm going to show you one at a time. All right. All right, so here's my jaggedy edge, which I love because it's more realistic than absolute perfect. And again, that's my opinion and what I wanted, what I like to do. So you do you. This is just a guide. All right, so I am going to use this bottom as a guide to put this around and it's all sticking together. And again, I'm gonna do like the teeny tiny little space in between so that when I pull up my liner, it doesn't pull this up. And I'm just gonna wrap it around. came out almost perfect. I'm just going to cut a little line here. There you go. I like it. All right. So now I'm going to take this piece of tape off the bottom. So I'm going to save these and use these for my second cup. All right. Just make sure it's pressed down really well <clears throat> so you don't get any paint underneath. And then we're gonna go outside and we are gonna spray paint these. All right, these cups are all taped off. Andrew's filming for me. Thank you, Andrew. He just woke up and I drug him outside. So I'm gonna start out with my pink and I'm using the Rust-Oleum two times. This is the candy pink. So I am going to do, make sure I don't mess this up. All right, so I'm doing this part first and I'm gonna spray down short bursts. It's really bright out here today. Because I don't want to get up here where there's going to be yellow. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to come in with my yellow. And I'm going to spray closer than I normally would because I don't want it to further away the more over the more out spray you get so the closer but then you run the risk of runs but we're putting glitter over this so it's not that big of a deal you guys hear my chickens I'm making noise over there you hear me out here you want to hang out so just short burst That looks good. Now we're going to come in last with our black. And with this one, I am definitely going to spray this way. I definitely don't want it. Ah, oh, got it in my yellow. See, these are the hazards. Hazards, people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to go in and tape off my black and spray the yellow again. So I'll let this dry and then I'm gonna be back when I have corrected this and we're inside and we're getting ready to apply the glitter. All right, so check this out. So I decided instead of holding it sideways, I was gonna do it on my spray pole. And so I had much better luck doing it this way. So I just took my paint and I just sprayed a little bit and I turned it 
and then spray it a little bit and i did that with the pink and the yellow and it looks much better than this hot mess look at this i don't even know if i can fix this so i'm gonna see what i can do with this but i might be redoing a whole new cup and just stripping this down so what i'm gonna do with this and uh for my purposes because it looks like my spray paint likes to really spray and I don't have apparently that great of control. I am going to wait for this to dry. It's a nice sunny day, so it should dry pretty quick. And then I am going to put saran wrap around it and do the black so that I don't get it into the rest so I don't have to try to correct this. The hazards of spray painting outside. It's not even that warm out and the bugs are already coming out. They're tired of this winter too. Hey, Mr. Scrawl, you might not want to get too close to that chicken coop. They're gonna chase you. There's a fighting word you in there trying to get their food. All right, I'm back with this cup. It is dry. I have put saran wrap around it so that I don't make a mistake and have overspray and splatter because I think black is going to be really hard to correct. So, and I haven't even tried it yet, to be honest. I'm moving on to other things. And I'm just gonna just twist this around because I'm doing this with one hand. Oh, and it dropped on the ground. The fun stuff of crafting. Ooh, let's see, make sure it stays. And this is, and this is what I did for the other two sections. And this really worked out so much better for me. So let's see if I make sure I got the top. All right. And some more little spray. And it's looking good. So I'm gonna let this dry. And I'm gonna work on this hot mess. And then when these are dry, I will be back to glitter. Right, guys, I am back with these cups and I fixed the other one and this one looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start applying uh, three of my glitters via the epoxy method. So I've got a little bit of um, epoxy mixed up here, about 10 mLs. And I gotta work quick because this is the quick set epoxy. So, um, we don't have a whole lot of time, so we're just going to smear a little bit on. Not a whole lot. We don't need a lot. All right, so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because it's just a matter of applying a very thin layer of epoxy. And I am using the fast set, so I do want to, I don't want to dilly dally around too long. I want to get it on and uh, get it covered with the glitter because in you know less than 10 minutes, it's gonna start to heat up and uh, it's gonna get thick and I won't be able to work with it. So just spreading it on the pink, the yellow, and the black. And I am going to glitter all three at the same time and you're gonna see how I do that in a second. So I'm just rubbing it on again, just nice thin layer. If your finger runs too smoothly over it, it means you might have a little bit too much. You do not want the glitter to run with the epoxy by having too much on there. So that's why you want a super thin coat. Sh you should be working it a little bit to get it on. And um, if you're having too hard of a time, you can heat your cup up a little bit with a heat gun and that will help spread the epoxy uh, thinner and easier or smoother. Uh, I wouldn't suggest warming up this epoxy because it is fast set, so it will uh, it will heat up too quick, and you will even you know reduce your working time. So uh, so I'm going in now with the pink Cadillac, which is the eraser part, and it's a really pretty pink color. And of course, all my glitters are by Glitter Makes It. Just tapping a little bit off, and. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna come in with my yellow, which is Big Bird. And it's this nice bright yellow that goes with so many things. If you wanna use sunflowers, if you wanna do, you know, some uh, a beach, like uh, a beach sunset tumbler, this yellow goes really, really nice. Uh, or works really well for a lot of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna coat that and I'm not gonna tilt it at all, so it's just gonna fall off onto the paper. And I'm not really gonna tap because I don't wanna contaminate it with the pink, so I'm just gonna leave that. 
and there I'm showing you Big Bird. And now I'm gonna come in with the Prismatic Black, Prismatic Black, which is a holographic black or actually more maybe even like a dark gray. Uh, I think it looks kind of like graphite. So it's not gonna give you the rainbow look though because we're gonna leave it fluffy and we're not gonna tack it down. And, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna give the shimmer that a flat black will not give you under epoxy. So it'll be nice. But if you wanna add like a little bit of like silver flex or even like an opal to give it a little bit more shimmer, you can do that as well. I did not, but um, because I like it the way it is. But that's just an option, you know, if you want your black to be, you know, even more shimmery. So now I tap it and I'm just gonna use that glitter and put it in my uh, Oops glitter uh, container. And now I'm gonna peel the tape off. Make sure it's very important that you peel your tape off right away. If you leave it on, you're gonna epoxy your tape to your cup and you definitely don't wanna do that because then you gotta strip it because it's gonna be just a big old hot mess. All right. So once I take all the tape off, I am just going to let it hang dry for a couple of hours. And because I'm doing two cups, I'm gonna put this aside and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on my second cup. All right, and that is it for this step. guys good morning well it's good morning for me because it's the next day so i said that my cup only needed a couple hours to dry and it, it's true it only needed but it's been drying overnight because i got tired and decided i was quitting for a day all right so on to the next step so we are going to do the brown part and the silver part and so how i'm going to do that now is i'm going to use paint and mod podge to apply the glitter so our next two colors are Gold Rush and Pixie Dust. And so I have this metallic gold, which I got on sale, woohoo, love sales, and metallic silver. And I've already poured them into my cups. And you can buy the, um, the Folk Art, I think I got, I actually got these at Joanne because they were, Joanne Fabrics, because they were on sale. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of my Mod Podge. I'm just gonna take a, like not a big scoop, like a little scoop and just kind of put a dollop in there, a little dollop. I don't know that it's actually helping, but it makes me feel better that I'm using at least some sort of a little bit of a glue to hold this glitter on. So I'm just gonna mix it up. Make sure it's mixed up and it doesn't really change the color so I think if you use more it might but the color seems to be the same and I actually poured way too much I don't I'm not gonna use all this even though I'm doing two cups there's like such you know it's not it goes a long way all right and so I have my paintbrush here gonna grab my cup and I'm gonna start with the silver so I'm just gonna dab it in so this is where you've got to you've got to use your painting skills if you have any if you don't it's <laughs> good luck so I'm just how am I gonna angle this so you can see I really need to uh, angle my camera different I need to bring it behind me so I'm just gonna paint this on all right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up again because you know, when I originally started this video, it was over an hour long. So I definitely don't wanna keep you guys super bored by, you know, keeping everything super slow. So this is just, you know, painting on my Mod Podge and my paint around the cup, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glitter. So you can go ahead and watch or you can speed through it. Uh, the silver part's pretty easy. The brown part took a little bit longer. You gotta be a little bit more precision with that because you've got the jagged edges, but you kind of get the idea. And if you don't and you have questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, I try to get, you know, I try to answer the comments as quickly as I can. Okay.
So I am good with this. And I do have some on the yellow, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna brush it off and then I'm gonna seal it. I'm gonna give it probably three good coats of the Rust-Oleum Two Times Gloss Clear. So I will be back in a little bit. All right, these have been drying for a couple hours. So I'm gonna go in with my brush like I said I was gonna do and I'm just going to brush off any loose glitter from when I did this silver and the gold. So just gonna lightly brush it. Get all that excess off. And the yellow shouldn't come with it because I applied that using the uh, epoxy method. So, so yeah, it's just coming off real nice and easy and I'm doing it with a soft bristle brush. And that's it, that's all I'm doing. Do it on the pink. And then after I'm done this, sorry, after I'm done this, I'm going to do three coats of clear to seal these colors so they don't move when I put my first coat of epoxy on it. All right, so that's it. So it's all cleaned up and uh, three coats of clear, the two times clear, gloss clear Rust-Oleum. Yeah, I have a spot right there, I'm gonna fix that. And, um, and then I will be back when I'm going to apply my decals. All right, so I'm just applying my epoxy and I am going in and doing it one section at a time. I'm not really dragging it down, I'm really doing it more on a sideways motion just in case I didn't secure the glitter enough i don't want it to travel so and i'm working my way from the top to the bottom all right i am back with this cup it's got two coats of epoxy and i've done a sanding and i've cleaned the inside of my rim and so if you don't know how to clean the inside of a rim uh, jump back on my channel i do have a video on how i do that all right, so now I'm gonna go in with my pin striping. So in the past, I've left these cups without any striping, but you know, I think I wanna put striping on it. I think it looks better with it. So I've cut out black, yellow, and silver. And so I'm gonna start with the silver. And so this silver is actually Cricut Permanent Vinyl. And I bought this when I first got my Cricut machine and I, you know, didn't know about the Oracle 651 and all of theirs and the StarCraft and, you know, all the different kinds of vinyls. And so this is the Silver Shimmer and um, permanent vinyl, my butt, because I tell you what, don't put this out in the sun because it will fade uh, in less than a year. I ask me how I know this, but on a cup, it's fine. And so it's this, it, it says shimmer and it does have like this shimmer to it. But what happens to it when it gets under a, of epoxy is it actually looks more metally. So I'm just gonna peel back. It actually looks more like the backside of the vinyl than the shimmer. So it kind of loses its shimmer and gets more like metally. And that's actually what I want. So this works for this. And, and trust me when I tell you, after I use the rest of this, I will never ever buy it again. But that's just my opinion. Some people really love Cricut brand, I think. I don't know, I haven't heard that, but anyway, I'm just gonna assume. And then um, this is the Oracle 651 um, Black Matte Vinyl. You can use whatever, you know, if you wanna use glossy or flat, it doesn't matter, the matte. And then this is, this is actually came out of a, and it doesn't have a name. So it was like a pack, a color pack that I ordered from Amazon a long time ago and this color actually just happened to be the perfect yellow so that's what I'm using uh, and you know all of this stuff can be ordered on Amazon or you can buy your Cricut in the stores I just I just think that Cricut vinyl is very expensive um, compared to the Oracle and Oracle does have glittery um, permanent vinyl now not just the HTV so you can, you know, you can look at the different kinds. But anyway, so I'm just, oh, in the shimmer vinyl too, there isn't any transfer state tape that sticks to this stuff either. So it's a pain in the butt. So for this, you know, anyway, I I'm just gonna peel the strips off and just lay them right on my cup. 
Alright, a little speeding up again because it's boring watching pinstriping. But anyway, so just laying my uh, silver down and, you know, pulling it taut but not too much. I don't want to stretch it too much, but I want it to not have any bubbles or creases. And so I do the two silver strips and then I go in with the black. I trim it with my scissors and I do leave a little bit of an overlap. So I've seen people who come in with a craft knife and you know they they trim it like perfectly and it like meets perfectly. I've never been able to accomplish that and the one time that I did the the strip actually like kind of shrunk and then left a gap. So I actually um overlap and that just seems to work better for me and you don't really notice it a whole lot. Uh, it, it, if you're that particular and it really, really bothers you, you know, your customer, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you because it's, it's really, it, you know, I found it very difficult. But again, that's me and everybody is different. So just smoothing that down. I really like the silver. Um, and under, like I said, under the epoxy, this silver uh, is going to turn like a metally color. So it's not going to say that shimmer and it's going to give the exact look that I want. So now I'm going in with my black and I'm just, you know, meeting between the lines. So I'm coming, you know, it's a little bit on the yellow and it's a little bit on, or I'm sorry, on the goldish and then a little bit on the black. So uh, it splits the difference and it hides any imperfections if you've got any. Uh, so that's the nice thing about the pinstriping. And that's the Oracle 651, so it will stick to itself, so we don't have any issues with that. And then I'm gonna go in with my yellow, and I'm gonna do the zigzags, which is kind of, you know, a little time consuming, a little bit tedious. Um, and I will go in and uh, just trim, cut and trim, cut and trim, cut and trim. So you'll see me doing that. So I'm just gonna cut off the narrative now, cause you kinda get the idea, and just play a little bit music if you wanna see continue to watch then watch if you want to speed it up go ahead you know until we get to our next step oh and i'm sorry i forgot here i am doing the number two that i want to put on the back of the pencil and it's really small so i'm going to head and reverse weed that so reverse weeding is instead of um weeding from the top you're going to actually kind of weed from the bottom so you're going to put the whole decal on the transfer tape and then you're going to pull up the waste part and leave the actual decal on it and then put it on your cup.
guys, sorry, I actually put the name on off camera because I was just a little overzealous and, um, but you guys get the idea. You, most of you pretty much know how to apply a decal. So put your transfer tape on, peel it up, put it on the cup, press it down, peel your tape and there you have it. So I think that this cup is looking pretty good and it's ready for epoxy. I'm going to give it, you know, another once over, make sure there isn't anything that I need to touch up. I've got everything trimmed up. And then I've got to do the other cup and we're going to get it under epoxy and uh, get this finished up with hopefully two coats and it'll be done. All right. I will see you in a little bit. Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention. I totally forgot. Um, so with this Cricut vinyl, this, nothing sticks to it and it doesn't stick to itself. So because I overlapped it, it there's like a little tiny bit that's like sticking up. If you can see that little bit. So I'm actually going to just take my Mod Podge and put a little Mod Podge on it and hold it down until it sticks. Um, because if I don't, it's gonna, the epoxy is gonna get underneath it and then it's just gonna be a whole huge problem. So I just actually dabbed my finger in it, put it underneath and I'm just gonna press it on and I'm gonna do it for, you're gonna have to hold it there for a minute until the Mod Podge gets like sticky enough. And then I'm gonna do the top one and then it'll be ready. All right, so just a little trick if you're ever using the Cricut Shimmer. Uh, if you like it and you wanna get some, just beware that it doesn't stick to itself. Okay, now I'm going. All right, sealing these bad boys up with my final coats of epoxy, yay! Okay, I'm back with these tumblers and they're done. So check them out. They came out really super cute. I really like these for the teachers. I even put the number two on the back. So, it, you know, it takes a couple of steps and you know, we had a couple of hiccups, but you know, we made it through, you, you know, you figure it out because nobody's perfect and crafts aren't perfect. So, you know, you should really just be having fun with it. If you're getting too frustrated, you might need to step back for a second, but anyway, so uh, don't forget to check the description down below for links to all the products that I use, especially this gorgeous glitter. There's also a coupon code, 30% off your entire order. So go ahead and jump on that because these are the perfect colors. And as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will definitely see you next time. Bye.